nobody prepares you. You know, you hear all this, oh my God, it's like so hard. It's, it's beyond hard, it's deadly to the point where it goes under your skin and runs through your veins and like eats you alive. And I'm in heaven, because that's what I wanted. How do we all feel about this? It's fun, right? Yeah. Run out, grab coffee, grab a dude. That's yeah. so cute. My background, styling. I never had that security of having a full-time job. Freelancing worked for me because I would go in and out and I would only kind of do what is asked of me. And that was it. I would just kind of like roll on to the next one. But I always wanted to give more. It's like I always wanted my own company. I really spent my entire career at big retailers like Victoria's Secret, Airy, American Eagle. My parents owned Chinese restaurants. We were exposed to the entrepreneurial journey from a really young age. I think, you know, working at these big places really kind of made me miss this experience of doing things on your own, of like being your own boss that I had grown up with. For us to build a responsible, scalable business, we've got to make sure we're not having to hold inventory of 50 different fabrics from 20 For different no reason. countries. We're, like yeah. that's crazy. It's tight, it's focused, it's consistent, it's cohesive. Weekend Nation started as a different take on loungewear. Traditionally, comfort and style have always been kind of mutually exclusive. I think that intersection is really a differentiating factor for us. I want to create things that you want to wear forever and that have the ability to play in all aspects of your life, for social, for home, for work. Sophia and I both independently were at a point in our lives where we wanted to start our own businesses. And we were kind of both looking for opportunities. We were introduced by Full Stride, their brand incubator, specifically in the intimates and loungewear space. We met at a coffee shop. Um, you know, she walked in, was wearing this like fabulous outfit. I was like on my way to work with, you know, my laptop and my mom's shoes. She thought I was this Instagram. I'm like, yeah, I post clothes. So fucking what? What's your problem? And I'm like, oh, and you went to Colombia. Amazing. When I first met her, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this woman? I was nervous, but I could see the path. So you got the fabrics? I got the fabrics. Um, Super. So Super exciting, like super exciting. The way that I imagine the clothes is the way that I style things. It's a certain tuck or it's a certain twist that can be done as you maneuver a garment with your hands. That's pretty chic. Yeah, I love that. I wanted to create garments that already have that in the construction. So when the customer receives it, they don't have to be so good with their twists and their turns and their cinches. That's what makes us different. It's like pre-styled for you. Hi, it's me. Hi, Your favorite business partner. All right, what? Just wanted to give you an update on our pre-launch referral campaign. Up until this point, Sophia and I have been doing everything. Letting go and delegating, you know, your baby to other people is tough. You don't realize how many branding agencies or how many website agencies or how many PR agencies are out there until you start looking for them. That part was really overwhelming. The first partner we brought in from an agency point of view is Rook. They actually came up with our branding, our logo, our fonts. We want to be bright and playful, bring to life these sort of bold, vivid uh, colors. Barrel is our website and design development agency. They took our branding identity and use it to design our website on Shopify Plus. This version utilizes a collage layout to evoke those Saturday vibes. Seeing this come to life, it actually makes me quite emotional. It's, it looks lovely. Michelle, who's now our advisor, is the CEO of Lively. They were one of the first investments for Full Stride Ventures. She launched her business on Shopify, and so that was never even like a question. She's been really instrumental through all of this. She's like the big sister who like did everything right. And so now like you're trying to follow in her footsteps. How many stairs? Today I came to see what is known to be a 3PL thing. How y'all doing? Hi. Morgan. I'm Fong and this is my partner, Sophia. Nice to meet you. Why am I here? What am I doing? What the fuck does 3PL mean? 
We've been oh. interviewing a bunch of 3PLs, third party logistics partners, who will help us with our warehousing, fulfill our orders. We chose um, Box Zuka as our 3PL partner. We talked to big 3PLs, small 3PLs, and you know, there was always in the back of my head, like I don't want to be the small fish in the big pond. I want to go someplace where I feel like they'll be there to grow with us. And so that's why we went with them. This is wonderful. <laughs> I feel strongly about him and the dog. A lot of things are going on. I think Sophia's currently in the middle of a freak out. Yeah, I had a really weird weekend. I just, I can't sleep. We've got to work on finalizing the messaging for our launch campaign. And basically like, this is what our brand is going to present like to the rest of the world. As a brand, what's the Weekend Nation thing mm -hmm. that keeps it like memorable in people's minds? <laughs> it's happy, it's exciting, it's messy, but like not really messy because it doesn't give a shit. It used to feel so good. I would just show up to work, say what people have to wear and then go home. And now that part is like 5% of my brain. It's just like, how do you know? Like what's right, what's the best decision, what's gonna have the biggest impact. It's a lot of, it's a big responsibility. We're both super passionate. We both care a lot about this company and we're both moms in New York City. That's a huge commonality that really binds us. I want them to be proud of me. I want them to see that they can do anything they want. Building a business and building a brand, it's always been my life's goal. The day to day is pretty tough. You know, it's like 70, 80 hour weeks, but it's all worth it and it's really rewarding. Stuff is looking beautiful and our model is gorgeous and our photographer is amazing and the space is beautiful and Fong is divine. The best part about it is yes, the clothes, but also kind of realizing that the person that I'm doing this with is fucking awesome. I don't know how I could have done all this by myself. Can I see something? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. To me, what that's about just the ones strong. where they're um, picking each other's noses? I wouldn't. <laughs> Failure is not an option. Right? No. Like, because I mean, no. sometimes I think about like, what happens if this doesn't work? Like, it will. There is no option of failing. No. That that's not part of the plan. Yeah. Okay. You don't even talk about. No. Nope. That's the last time I'm talking. Done. <laughs> COVID numbers kept going up and up, and you just didn't know what was going on. My husband is like, we're gonna move. I said, we're not. I'm gonna raise this money, and we're gonna do this, and we're staying here.